Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five explanations for everyday things your body does. Number five, hiccups. We've all experienced hiccups at some point, and they can certainly be quite annoying. However, they usually disappear after a few minutes, and drinking or holding your breath can easily help get rid of them quicker. Why we hiccup is really still a mystery. Scientists haven't got a conclusive answer, however they do have some theories. One of the more accepted theories is that hiccups may have evolved as a way for infants to expel air from the stomach. This makes it easier for the infant to drink milk from their mother's breasts. The motion of forcing air out of the mouth is essentially a way to help the infant burp itself. Mammals are the only animals that drink milk, and also the only ones to get hiccups. Hiccups are also more likely to occur in the young. Number 4. Tickling The majority of people are ticklish, some more ticklish than others. Tickling someone can turn them into a complete mess, and usually their reaction is funny enough to make it worthwhile. While ticklish people hate being tickled, a strong theory as to why we're ticklish suggests it's actually a good thing. Christine Harris has come to the conclusion that tickling is a system to help develop combat skills. When one gets tickled, their natural reaction is to break free as quickly as possible. This helps develop their combat skills in breaking free from an attacker. The fact that one laughs and smiles whilst getting tickled also encourages others to tickle them even more, therefore enhancing their combat skills further. Number 3. Wrinkled Fingers and Toes when you stay in water for too long, your fingers and toes become wrinkled. For decades, scientists have been stumped as to why this occurs. However, they now believe to have the answer. They believe that it's an evolutionary advantage that helps to increase grip in wet conditions. Wet objects are slippery. However, wrinkled fingers and toes have shown in experiments to enhance one's grip. This would have helped our ancestors handle tools and also walk and run more confidently in wet conditions. Number 2. Shivers down the spine During stressful moments or when you feel intense emotions, you can get a shiver down the spine. Sometimes this is also accompanied by goosebumps. The reason for this is simple. It all comes from the section of the brain that controls central nervous system functions. Large amounts of adrenaline are released to help prepare the body to react to the situation. Muscles contract and hair stands on its ends which leads to goosebumps. When you feel a shiver down your spine, it's just your body getting ready to react. That's why it mostly happens when something scary or stressful occurs. Number 1. Yawning Yawning is one of those things we don't fully understand. What we do know is that it's very contagious. So contagious that even thinking about yawning or hearing the word can make someone yawn. There are many theories as to why we yawn. One is that it helps you take in more oxygen, which will help make your body more alert. Another is that it's a way of communicating boredom or tiredness among others. However, in 2014, a new theory came to light. The theory explains that yawning is actually a way for the body to cool down the brain. A yawn takes in cold air and increases blood flow around the brain, carrying away excess heat. This theory also explains as to why we yawn when we're tired, because our brains heat up as we become more sleepy. Thank you for watching. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. I do read all comments and I'm always open to suggestions. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, feed your mind.